Hello everyone, my name is August Hagen. Uh, I'm a student. I've been living in Shanghai for almost a year now. Uh, Shanghai is such an international city, so opening and welcoming to foreigners. And with a recent 144-hour uh, visa-free transit policy, uh, I've had a lot of friends asking me what is there to do and what is there to eat in Shanghai. So follow me today as we try out some of Shanghai's unique culinary delights. So now we're at our first stop today, Uyuan Garden. It's not only a cultural and historical landmark in Shanghai, but it's also a gathering spot for lots of traditional uh, culinary delicacies in Shanghai. Uh, so let's try some delicious Shanghai Xiaolongbao today. Okay, the food has arrived. Let's take a look. It looks delicious. I'm excited to see how the filling is. Mm. Mm. So delicious. And in many ways, the Xiaolongbao is just like Shanghai. It's, you find all types of filling. It encompasses and it includes everything, just like Shanghai. It's a very friendly city to, to live in as a foreigner. Our next stop is Yongping Li. Shanghai has such a rich and diverse coffee culture, so let's try it together. Hello. Uh, Hello. So let us have a sip of Shanghai's magical coffee. Mm. I really do enjoy Shanghai's coffee culture. It's extremely diverse and uh, inclusive. So not only can you find coffee from all over the world, any type of coffee beans you prefer, any type of coffee you prefer, but you can find the coffee anywhere in Shanghai. By tasting Shanghai's Xiaolongbao and coffee, we have not only explored the intersection where Chinese flavors meet Western flavors, something which really summarizes just what Shanghai is, a place where East meets West. But we have also explored Shanghai's openness, inclusivity, and overall econ economic vitality. And I hope everyone gets a chance to come to Shanghai and try out Xiaolongbao and coffee for yourself. Hope to see you here soon.